Hello. Uh, today I'm trying to analyze the chart of uh, Shri Amit Shah and uh, what what does the chart uh, signify in terms of the future ahead and especially the election time, uh, which is uh, there in uh, which is there next year. So uh, that is uh, the main assessment which I'd like to do. I'm only analyzing his chart on the basis of profession. I'm not going into the issues like personal issues, finance issues only in terms of uh, the professional aspect and the professional prestige uh, which will be there uh, in terms of his chart uh, taking into consideration uh, the D1, the D9, the D10, uh, the Ashtagvarga, the Dasha Bhukti, uh, my own system of uh, uh, Nakshatra and also I give a little importance to the Bhrigu Bindu point and the Fortuna. So these are the these are the basic things which I would like uh, to see his chart and then analyze it in terms of what is the future in in his horoscope as far as uh, his uh, future is concerned astrologically astrology is not a perfect science and it is based on my limited knowledge of uh, the subject of over 25 30 years whatever I have tried to understand is based on that so. Uh, based on that, I'm trying to analyze uh, the chart of Shia Misha and uh, the uh, time taken is October 22, 1964. That is the date of birthplace time and time is 5.25 a.m. Place is Mumbai. The chart is on the side. So if you look at this chart, the Dasha at the time, uh, which is prevalent, which I give most importance to, is uh, Rahu Shukra. Rahu, as you see in his chart, and uh, if I superimpose uh, the D1 chart with the D10 chart, the D10 chart is basically about profession. He is undergoing the period of Rahu and uh, Rahu is in uh, a Mithun Rashi, which is, uh, which is a very strong Rashi. Rahu in Mercury, in the house of Mercury is excellent. Mercury is also like Rahu. So when Rahu is in the house of Mercury communication, it makes a person very intelligent, a very sharp person. He can think out of the box, he can, you know, all those things uh, which which is there uh, is magnified uh, mercury's things are magnified and a person can think out of the box also that is the greatest importance of this and the most important thing which we see here i mean which i clearly see when i say superimpose d1 with d10 is that uh, rahu becomes vargottam and when rahu is vargottam it is excellent so I would say that the Dasha of Sri Amir Shah till the period of Rahu is going to be very good. Rahu can create problems. Rahu gives sudden ups and downs. Uh, Rahu can um, can uh, lift you, can also push you down. But a lot of things have happened already in his past. So at the moment, Rahu, as far as professional prestige is concerned, is very strong. It is Vargotam. In D10, it is in the 8th house. And in the D1, it is in the uh, it is in the uh, it is in the tenth house. So that if you combine both the things, eighth house is eleventh from the tenth. Being eleventh from the tenth, it it actually gives a gain in prestige. Now, it, being in the eighth house in D10, it will give you a lot of work in terms of strategy, working behind the scenes, kind of darkness coming in between. All those things will be there. But end end is let's understand Rahu. In D10, in 8th house, despite all its anxieties, despite all its issues, despite it having to work for a lot of strategy, it is it is going to protect the prestige of the person. So that way, it is it it is it is strong. Rahu is strong. Uh, the current period, which is there of <coughs> Rahu Shukra, if we look at Rahu Shukra, Shukra is in the 12th house. It is in the house of Surya. It is in exchange with Surya. <coughs> it is an exchange with Surya. So, a 10th, 2nd and 12th, <coughs> there is an exchange. If you look at it from the 10th house, then this 12th house becomes the 3rd house from the 10th and the 2nd house becomes the 5th house uh, from the 10th house. So, 3rd house is basically all the work which you can do in, in, in holding your prestige in holding your profession. So 12th house actually is a, is a house which not only talks about in terms of your, in terms of the, the basically the way we understand astrology, 12th house is a negative house, but way I understand astrology, 12th house is a house of strategy, 12th house is the house of looking at the back end, 12th house is for computers, 12th house is for communication, 
12,000 for social media, 12,000 is a house of investment. So 12,000 also is the house of expense. But when you talk about expense, it's on a different, uh, different gamut of activities. But from 10th, it is the third. So it is also the house of work which you do towards the things which I have just mentioned for protecting your prestige. And the second house is the house of, uh, house of strategy for the 10th house. So an exchange between the second and the 12th, which comes to third and the fifth from the 10th house shows that the person will be able to do excellent strategy and uh, with uh, by means of his communication, by means of working at the back end, by using the uh, social media, by, uh, by strategy, by a lot of other things which are signified by the 12th house, he will be able to do that and uh, be victorious because at the end of the day when there is a when there is a exchange between Sun and Venus so you know we should actually in my whole scheme of things there will be problems but at the end of the day Sun becomes a powerful as well as Venus becomes powerful Sun is and the 12th house here uh, where Venus is there is the house of Leo which is the house of government which is the house of prestige which is the house of you know which is the house of house of government and position and authority so and seventh house is basically the house for business and keeping a balance between things i mean seventh house not seventh house the house of libra that was leo leo will be the sign of uh, prestige will be the sign of uh, government and libra is the sign of keeping a balance so seeing the sign taking the signs into consideration taking them from the lagna and taking them from the 10th house i can safely say for profession the period of Rahu Shukra, which is at the moment till 2000, uh, April 2018, with some fear, with some fear, because uh, Sun and Venus are not very favorably disposed to each other. You know, Venus is supposed to be always helping the moon. It's it's the prime minister kind of a thing. Venus, moon secretly takes the help of Venus. I mean, um, and therefore Sun is very jealous of it. You know, that's there's a big story behind it. So here, what it shows it that with some problems with some issues uh, he will be able to uh, be victorious in the period of Rahu Shukra that is by 19th April 2018 then again would come the period of Rahu Surya Rahu Surya again would be more where the depositor of Rahu the depositor of Rahu which is Mercury and Rahu is in a Mrikshira Nakshatra when Rahu is in a Mrikshira Nakshatra such people they may they may look uh, they may look very very aggressive but everything is like they do it after analyzing pros and cons they are people of very fine details they are like you know a deer like attitude is there where they look at everything and they see everything they they they, they can smell things and then only they act rahu may give an outward thing in this case a kind of a thing which is where, where you look like a daredevil but inside internally the people are are very 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 pedantic and they take each and every uh, thing into consideration so that that is how Rahu is when and then the period of Rahu Surya again uh, will be uh, a very good period because it is with with Mercury and again it is in exchange with Venus but Surya is in the second house second house is the seat of government so I feel that by 13th 2019 uh, the government will be able to he will be able to consolidate the position of the government in a very uh, in a very 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 good way then will come during the elections that is the next year when Rahu um, uh, Chandrama is there Rahu Chandrama is a lord of 11th in 8th it is in the house of it is in the house of Mars which is again in the 11th there is an exchange between 8th and 11th when there is an exchange between 8th and 11th its 8th house again is a house of strategy it is the house of something which you have to do underground it is everything underground the back the the back office so i mean what i see that in 2019 when the elections are there and when the period of chandrama is there there is an exchange of chandrama and mangal and the exchange of chandrama and mangal is between the 8th house and the 11th house 11th house is for aspiration of getting what you want of fulfilling what you what what, what you desire so i i have a feeling that that during the time of uh, Rahu Chandrama, when uh, which starts from 13 3 2019, that is that is the time 
when the election results would come out and the government would can made that is the aspiration of the person would get fulfilled but with there will be some anxiety there will be some behind the strategy work there will be 8000 activity 8000 as i said anything under the earth anything which is behind the uh behind the behind the screen anything which uh, which 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 can which is uh, which also 8000 like you know if you look at finance then 8000 like a mutual fund uh, we say second house is the house of finance but 8000 like house of mutual fund mutual fund means you know we have a lot of people together and uh, you know we have a lot of funds together and you make a kind of a um, uh, you make a kind of a uh, you make a kind of a, a a kind of a fund which is which is uh, which is uh, which which is uh, which has got a partnership of uh, a lot of firms and shares and you know those kinds of thing in finance so this is the same thing which would happen in which he would which could happen for him to succeed so i feel that uh, aspirations will get fulfilled for sure and uh, there would be some uh, some actions behind the scene the actions behind the scene would be successful because rahu is very is strong uh, uh mars is again with uh, in d10 is uh, uh, moon in d10 is in the 11th house in the 11th house which is uh, the house of mercury which is the house of mercury and which is the if you superimpose d10 and d1 is the lagnesh so that means by his own strength of his self by his caliber by his uh, by the strategies by various methods he'll be able to align uh, align and successfully form the government in uh, 2019 uh, you know i've tried to explain it in a way where a layman would understand and without going much into details also one more important thing is that uh, his jupiter his uh, bhrigu bindu point lies in in scorpio and jupiter jupiter would be and jupiter would be in scorpio so jupiter uh, would be where the bhrigu bindu point lies uh, that is the scorpio so it will be it will be very good very good also his uh, fortuna lies in the in the seventh house which will also get activated by jupiter shani do would be with uh, ketu uh, during the uh, sh- uh, during the uh, during the election time so ketu would have its uh, have its uh, kind of uh, hurdles which it could produce uh, ketu is a planet where you have to do mathematics it's the planet of mathematics jod tod jama tol that kind of things strategy relationships uh, doing something which is unconventional so you know that also would be there for uh, for because because that is the transit part of it which i am saying this would be there but uh, but and also if i look at uh, uh, the just the sheer uh, just the sheer uh, um, uh, 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 the sheer uh, time what would be uh, what would chandrama basically be uh, suggesting at that point will be if you look at uh, chandrama it's in bharni nakshatra now bharni nakshatra is the is is, is a nakshatra where uh, which which would be during the time of election is an uh, is a nakshatra where where it is an outlet where a person goes inside it is it is the nakshatra which is governed by uh, shukra but it's a, a nakshatra which is governed by both the planets that is the yamraj as well as kali and the 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 it's it's it's, it's a very fierce nakshatra so you know it it will be during that period since it's a fierce nakshatra it is it is it is governed by 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 the by by goddess kali and it is also governed by yamraj uh, and uh, so there would be a lot of fierce competition a fierce kind of working has to take place Uh, in the in the next elections i'm sure about it because bharni does not give things easily and uh, and chandrama being in the nakshatra of ketu uh, if you look at its uh, its mool trikon position of chandrama 
I mean Chandrama being in the nakshatra of uh, uh, nakshatra of uh, Venus, its exaltation is in. If you look at the exaltation point of Chandrama, that is the uh, planet uh, which uh, which has its uh, Rahu Chandrama. Rahu will be the dasha and Chandrama will be the bhukti. So if you look at the bhukti part of it, which is Chandrama, uh, its uh, exaltation. I mean, if you look at the uh, Chandrama, if you look at Chandrama, which is in Bharni nakshatra. Uh, which is in Bharni Nakshatra, whose lord is Venus, its exaltation will be the seventh house, and um, uh, the Mool Trikon uh, position would be the um, uh, would be the seventh house. Uh, the Mool Trikon position would be the seventh house, and the debilitation would happen in the uh, sixth house. I mean, you know, kind of a uh, this thing of Bharni Nakshatra in my way, because Venus. Is a lot of second and seventh. So from there, if you look, Moon Venus is the. I mean, it's a system which I can't explain you, but but considering the nakshatra and the exaltations and debilitation points of the nakshatra from Moon, the Mool Trikon position comes in the seventh house. The exaltation position comes in the twelfth house. So he will be able to find a partnership. He'll be able to do a backroom strategy. The debilitation point comes in the sixth house, so obviously, I mean, he will have uh, to face a lot of uh, enemies and uh, also face, uh, you know, a work extraordinarily hard day to day to achieve it. But I feel it will be achieved, and uh, it would be a government uh, where he will be able to continue and succeed. That is my view on the horoscope of uh, Shri Amesha only on the profession part because things which are professionally good may not be good personally. So I am only focusing on the professional part of his horoscope, analyzing the Rahu Shukra, Rahu Surya, Rahu Chandrama, both by three to four methods. So I feel that there would be there would be hard work to do for him, but his aspirations would get fulfilled. Thanks. Bye.